How much has your world been overshadowed by what currently is unfolding with FTX, which is sort of a centralized part of the decentralized future and hope? But I'm interested whether you found an uprooting of your world too. Caroline, Ed, the biggest lesson here is that the value is in Bitcoin and self-custody and not crypto. And that's a lesson that we get in every bear market when the tide goes out. So as long-term equity investors, Stillmark is focused on the accrual and build of sustainable value and enterprise value specifically. And that hasn't changed in any fundamental way. Instead, I think what's happened here, I hope the silver lining is that fraud and dishonest narrative has been washed out, which is necessary for the ecosystem to advance as a whole. And hopefully we get back to the fundamental questions of what we're all doing here and why Bitcoin is important. Well, at least let's get to that fundamental question. I always keep a Bitcoin chart handy, as one does. <laughs> and, you know, go back to November 8th, November 9th. That's where the sort of Sam Bankman freed contagion. Look at the far right hand side of your screen. Like that's where it happened. But between June and October of this year, We've traded sideways on Bitcoin. What is the fundamental driver of this cryptocurrency long term? What gives you the faith? What gives Kathy Wood the faith that it will reach prior highs? Of course. So first of all, Bitcoin fundament fundamentals are intact. What's historically been important for Bitcoin is adoption, of course, and the expansion of Bitcoin's utility set. And that is all progressing at an incredibly rapid clip. We saw Kathy Wood note that Bitcoin's hash rate is up, meaning Bitcoin is increasingly secure. And in addition to that, we're seeing Bitcoin holders become more sophisticated. So as an example, after the FTX collapse, the, there was a spike, um, a peak in the sale of hardware devices that can allow Bitcoin holders to hold and secure their own Bitcoin. Something notable about this bear market also from a Bitcoin markets perspective is that we see less volatility than we did in the last bear market, which is an indication of an increasing level of sophistication in market participants. And of course, also reflects higher trading volumes in contrast to the prior bear market. What I'm interested in is thinking more about the ecosystem. You say it's getting built still at a very quick clip. What helps or hinders right now? It's interesting that in the state of New York, Kathy Hochul, the governor today, is sort of talking about a moratorium on crypto mining. And that seems to be explicitly more about a proof of work rather than proof of stake and just basically energy efficiency here. But how much does that hinder perhaps the overall focus on hash rates on Bitcoin as a process and indeed building around it? Well, that's a very interesting point, because actually that was one of SBF and FTX's pet lobbying memes, which is that proof of work is something that is inherently a malevolent activity. But of course, we know it's necessary to be able to secure a decentralized ledger like the Bitcoin ledger. And in addition to that, we know that proof of work has quickly shifted to relying on sustainable energy sources. And in fact, I think it... it offers the opportunity for other industries to take an example of what can be done um, in adopting sustainable energy sources, which of course also have the, the capitalistic benefit of being very cheap and miners compete for cheap energy. Um, and so a, a note here on one of the other benefits of fraud and dishonesty being washed out of the system to some degree is that FTX leveraged their their novel and native token FTT mm. to boost their assets and likely as collateral to access loans. Mm. And with that money, they did they created sort of a really quick scaling in both their size and in their power and perceived authority, including in front of regulators. And so what they did with that was try to impugn often the virtues of the ecosystem, which is Bitcoin and proof of work. And so I hope that by seeing or finding that some of the leaders that regulators might have felt trust for, seeing them, their operations be made transparent and, and having dishonesty um, or misdirection revealed will allow regulators some time and space to ask the hard questions that lead them to better sort of discovery, understanding and truth.